Good afternoon, guys. This is Brian coming to you again from Big South Outdoors TV. Feast your eyes on this. Don't worry about getting oil on you. You can, you can wash up after. Falcon Wild Pink AT3 All Terrain Time. Today we're going to be talking about this new mower. I had a customer that has a swimming area and I've been weed eating it and he requested that I uh, use a uh, push mower with a bagger. So rather than lose a, cu a dissatisfied customer, I decided to invest the money and buy a brand new machine to do that job with. The customer's always right and it's hard to come by good lawn care customers. So you do what you got to do. But this video is going to be an instruction video. You're going to be learning along with me on how to put this thing together and get it get it going. Okay, guys, the first step to putting this thing together, these, these bars right here are slid all the way down underneath the deck. You have to take these bolts out. I don't know if you can see this or not. Let me get close. That bolt right there feeds down through into the, into the bolt right in this hole right here. And you have to remove that and slide these bars up. And there's two holes at the very ends. You can see this one right here is already installed. You just put it in there. Sometimes it's a little difficult. You get the hole lined up, put this in there. And there's a little window right there. You make sure it's lined up. And you just screw it down in there. Tighten it up. That's the first step. There's really nothing really much to these, to putting these things together. They pretty much come together when you buy them. Oh, by the way, I bought this from Walmart. It came with a two-year warranty. I bought an extended two-year warranty. That's four years total from Walmart. It was $318. So not a bad value. And what I'm, I, all I'm pretty much going to be doing is mowing around the swimming pool with this thing. So this machine should last forever. It's the uh, Briggs and Stratton uh, EX675, 6.75 horsepower. So that, sh that should be more than sufficient for what I need. Okay, the next step, you take this the handle, you raise it up like this. You get these holes lined up. You may have to have a hammer. So I brought one just in case. The inside bar of this thing is slotted for the nut on the back side of a carriage bolt. You stick this in. You may have to pull it down a little bit to get it lined up. There we go. Oh, look at there. It went slid right in. You put the red wing nut on it. Make sure the carriage bolt is seated good. If this one is not at the moment. Well, it's trying to be difficult. There we go. Got her that time. Tighten it up good and tight and repeat on the other side. Okay, the next step in this process is getting the pull rope installed on your keeper right here. So what you have to do is loosen up just enough for the rope to go through that gap. This is your ignition. You have to push this, gently pull out on the rope like this. 
feed it through, make sure it's at a 90 degree angle. Tighten it down real good and you're good to go. Okay, this is a brand new engine. Right here is where you put the oil in it. There's a little bit of oil in it already, but Briggs and Stratton, being it's a Briggs and Stratton engine, they supply the braking oil for this engine. My suggestion is to break it in, you run, you put this oil in it and you run it for about 10 to 15 hours, then you change the oil because this is braking oil. It's not meant to run forever. It's just meant to lubricate the engine until everything in the engine seats, like the, the valves, the valve guides, the rings and things like that. Everything will seat it with the heat and everything. It'll seat good in the engine, then you change the oil. I personally am gonna run a synthetic blend oil in this in this particular mower and because it'll it'll vastly increase the uh, lubrication in the engine. So I've already opened the, the oil container. It was complete, it was it was closed, and I opened it up for the purposes of this video. So you just keep pouring a little bit at a time because you don't want to overfill a brand new engine. That will void your warranty. You let it drain down a little bit and you check it until it's full. All right, guys, uh, change of direction. Uh, the Murray mower that I was, I was presenting to you in this video, uh, things went awry with it. I bought it from Walmart. It was, it was supposedly one of the better ones they had. And we got it together, got it on the ground, and when I poured gas in it, uh, gas was just pouring, gushing out of the uh, carburetor. I don't know what the problem is, but right here, ain't even been started up yet. Okay guys, as you can see by that little short snippet video, as soon as I poured the gas in it, the gas started pouring out right back out the bottom of the carburetor. I don't know what the issue was, but it was under warranty. Uh, I would not recommend this this machine. It just, I mean, it just, there's, there's too many things that could have been wrong with it. Uh, it was a display model, but anyway, that is my opinion. I would not recommend you go. You can go and, and check it out if you'd like. That's up to you. But anyway, we had to go a different direction. Uh, went to Lowe's and bought a Craftsman. That video will be coming up soon. But anyway, uh, it is what it is. The good thing about Walmart is if you buy something like that and there's a problem with it, they will give you your money back. No questions asked. But anyway, it is what it is, folks. This is Brian with Big South Outdoors TV. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell for new content. Always remember, live big, live southern, and live outdoors, no matter how nasty the weather may be.